Meet Tarnin, a new approach to concealment. We built it with shapes found in nature, distorted it to introduce visual randomness, and added layers for depth perception. The end result is your success in the field. Hey folks, Josh O'Reilly with Midwest Outdoors. We're down here in Calhoun County hunting with IRB ducks and bucks. Birds are just starting to get up. Uh, we're hoping to put a few down, so stick with us. Shoot him. There we go. So when those teal came back up and circled back around, we only had a few seconds to react, and we all got a good shot at them, and we dropped both birds. We're going to send the dog out for them now. A good group of teal come in, start working, circle and circle. Finally, they come in on that last swoop, and uh, we got some shots off. Looks like we got one or two out of the bunch. Real pretty bird, got great colors. First one. how you get it done there. We had a big group of pintails come in, circle two or three times, kind of went away on us. They gave us a second chance and uh, we got quite a few of them. Why you got that big smile, Josh? First pintail ever, right here. Look at the sprig on that thing. That one's even longer. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Good shooting, guys. So we had a flock of pintails coming around. We worked them a little bit. They decided to flare off. They went off over that way. There's another blind over there. So they were calling at them. We brought them back around towards us. We let them make one more pass. Then they flared out and just went out. We thought they were done. They started working out that way. And then uh, all of a sudden they started to swoop back in. Robert, our guide, was on the call. He brought them back in, made two, three passes, and then uh, we ended up getting a nice shoot at them. So beautiful birds, good sprig on them, beautiful head. Good coloration. This one's uh, this one's definitely heading to the taxidermist. A couple boys just got their first pintails ever. We're definitely making a stop at the taxidermist. Cover and concealment's important uh, when you're duck hunting here. Um, we're we're hunting with Huntworth Tarnin pattern. Uh, we got it originally for deer hunting, but we said, hey, let's try it out for the duck blind. Yeah, it's been real good today, especially we got ducks coming right over top of us. Uh, they're not coming right in, they're circling three, four times, and they have not picked us out once. So and some, of, some of the features I like about it is it's fleece lined, so it's nice and warm. Right. Uh, it's been raining on and off, misting, and uh, I ain't, I'm not wet at all. I mean, it's nice and dry, so it's, it's really holding up well. Yeah, and it's also really quiet, getting in and out of blind to shoot and all that, moving around when they're circling. Super quiet, can't hear anything. It's also super breathable. Uh, we're going out, getting birds, moving around, and it's it's not terribly cold, but I mean, you're, you're working up a sweat, you're not getting cold, or the cool down's not getting to you, so it's, it's holding up good in that aspect, too. Today we're hunting flooded corn. This is our guide, Rob. Rob, can you tell us about the spread here? Sure. So uh, what we've done out here is we've buried this 20-foot shipping container out in the middle of this 100-acre field. Uh, we've got knee-deep water flooded out here. We run about 30 dozen 
uh, mallard decoys. We sprinkle in some pintails, some gadwalls. Uh, typically about eight mojos. Um, and then we stick about probably three dozen Canada's out here. Um, our main focus is mallards, so that's why we're going with a lot of mallard decoys. But um, then we'll put some snows out for some color. We like to uh, use the snows for to attract, and you know the ducks can see them from a long ways away. So that's what we got. All right, take. Well, folks, we're wrapping up our hunt here down at IRB Ducks and Bucks in Calhoun County, and we worked quite a few birds this weekend. We had quite a few flares. The birds are a little stale. They've been getting shot at all over the place, but Robert, our guide, made some adjustments for us, and he ended up getting some teal and pintail to work for us beautifully, and we ended up taking those. Isn't that right, Josh? Yeah, first time I ever got to shoot uh, pintails and teal, so I just want to thank Rob, our guide, for all the hard work that he did. He put, put the birds right in our face, and it was a good hunt, so we appreciate you guys watching. We'll be right back after this break.